Miss Crockett. You know, I'm just waiting on the point that the American people, um, in the words of my amazing soror, Fannie Lou Hamer, get to the point that they are sick and tired of being sick and tired. I mean, here's the reality. You're talking about an impeachment inquiry, and we know that Republicans could care less about facts. That is the reason that I said in the hearing in which we were going over whether or not they were going to find Hunter in contempt. I said the reason he would not want to testify behind closed doors is because all they do is lie. And I can tell you there is some lie that they are working on spinning coming up out of here. But let me tell you something. They have done nothing more than lie to the American people over and over and over, and they don't care. And it's because the American people, for whatever reason, are not sick and tired of being sick and tired. Because here's the deal. We have an impeachment that is now pending against Mayorkas, yet we still don't have the high crime nor the misdemeanor. They don't care about facts. They don't care about facts at all. We do, and maybe that's the problem with the Democrats right now, because we do care about facts, because we thought that they mattered, but clearly they don't. All they want is a spectacle, and the spectacle right now is putting us in a sense of danger, not just in this country, but in this world. It is putting our allies in danger because right now what they're doing is they're peddling Russian lies. Basically, the Republicans have become synonymous for Russians at this point. It is a disgrace, and I'm just imploring the people to become sick and tired of being sick and tired. Because let me tell you, if there was something that they could tie this president to, I would be the first one to be upset because I am, a, I am an American first. I was elected by my district to represent them as U.S. citizens. I wasn't here to do the peddling of any president. But at this point in time, just like the BS that we see going on with the other impeachment, there is nothing more than BS. And we know that you can't have something that is built on a house of cards. We know that there is no foundation. So the fact that we even showed up today and we showed up early, and it wasn't to make sure that we could keep the lights and the government open, that's not why we showed up early. We showed up early because they wanted to take an opportunity to take punches at the president's son. And I am going to re-urge the American people to recognize, we're talking about his son. We're talking about someone who is an actual citizen, just a regular, regular citizen. We're not talking about somebody who could not pass a background check, yet somehow ended up being appointed to his administration. That's not what we're talking about. We're talking about a son that was struggling, a son that lost his mom, a son that lost his brother, a son that lost his sister, a son that has had a father that has been in politics since he was two years old. This has been his life. He knows what he's doing. He knows what he can't do. I'm telling you that this is a waste of time and we need to get back to this people's work. I am tired. The Republicans are going to lose the House and y'all run this back for them when they do. They're going to lose the House because they have lost focus of what our job is and our job is to take care of the American people and that's the last thing that they've done. Thank you, Mr. Crockett.